we see inflation across the board right now, including the business world. So we thought we'd bring on Seth Morgan. Give us a little advice here. This post-COVID inflation, is it going to become hyperinflation? How long do you see this lasting? Is this just the beginning, or is this the beginning of the end? No, I think this is the beginning, Jimmy. Thanks for having me on the show. Um, you know, I, I think the, the question of long-term hyperinflation really starts to play into world economics. And, and for a long time, it's been described as America being the prettiest pig in the slop, right? So a lot of money flowing back in under the Trump policies, a lot of money coming back in, being uh, brought back in domestically. And I think that has helped keep inflation down. But as we start to see those economic policies change – and spending go up, it's almost an inevitability. Uh, I think, though, because of America's position, at least for now, in the world uh, economic uh, situation, I think hyperinflation is unlikely, but I think we're going to live with inflation for, for quite quite some time. Um, so what we're seeing is it popping up in certain sectors, but not necessarily in all sectors. If you take a snapshot 12 months from now and 24 months from now, you're going to see it, the effect of it across the economy. Right now, we're seeing a pop in certain sectors of the economy. I think the effect of this on business and even on individuals is, is showing up in particular pockets. You're not necessarily feeling it in everything you pay for.